Okay. Um. Okay, not bad. Yeah, so today, working on some NPC stuff, right? And then, I head over to here, and my friends tell me, check it out. And guess what? What I was saying before, a few months ago, is here. Let's see, it's right here. Stems, NPC Stems is here. Now, this is kind of hot right now. This is all part of the sampling process. It's coming soon. It's going to be here sometime before the end of March. What's coming first is just the software version. And then it'll be standalone. Now, I've got like a real classic sounding sample here. Turn the light down low. It's kind of hot. The now, the great thing about this sample, it has all of the elements that we need, which is drums, bass, vocals and melodic and it has that classic sounding feel to it yeah. so we might want to take out the vocal the bass or the drums and this is where mpc stems really does enhance your workflow so let's use our start and end points to find the part of the sample that we actually want to stem out so i'm going to use this section now we go to process and we navigate all the way to create stems. Here, you'll see our four stem options that you can turn on and off. So if you don't want to stem out the drums, you can just simply turn that part off and then it won't be included. So we'll turn that on because we want all four parts. We can also set up our assignment to our pad, which will send the stems to that location. And we keep trim on, which is using our starting endpoints. So press do it. And then what it's doing now is processing the stems for us, which takes a few seconds. And then once that's completed, we'll navigate over to our main menu. And now let's play our stems. Turn the lights now in program edit low. is where we can control our four stem layers. I see that he went right over the Q link and it didn't even come on the screen right there. Now normally when I have an NPC on my NPC, live or live two, I will see those stems or actually the little graphic for the stems on the screen. This software looks like it's been updated a whole lot. Take out the bass. Nice. Drums. That's pretty clean. Vocal. Bring it back. Take out the music. Turn the light down low. Bass and drums. The lights, the lights, Let's bring back the music. The now, as you can hear, the sound quality is absolutely stunning. Now, if we also navigate that is back to sample edit, we can actually see our four individual layers in waveforms. So here we've got our original sample, and now we've got the bass separation, drums music and vocals so here you could do all your traditional mpc chopping in real time or using regions and then save those as a program and then start making beats with each of the individual stems and that's kind of hot right there you can get there and chop it up too as well and it sounds really good now my thing is i want to hear how it sounds with other songs besides it's just one here so probably they're just presenting this to you on a great platform that okay this song sounds good i want to hear it with some rock and roll for one and i want to hear it with jazz i got some jazz stuff i'd love to get stems on uh let's watch some more of this so let's make a b out of the stem that we created so let's go back to our main menu and what we're going to do now is i want to take out some of the parts from our stem so i'm going to take out the drums and the bass And I want to give this a real kind of a hip hop boom bap feel. So what I want to do is I want to pitch up the sample now. So let's go to global and I'm going to pitch it up five semitones. Now that kind of puts us in the Kanye kind of Jay-Z vibe. Right. Now what we can also do is add effects such as Flavor Pro to make it even more kind of vinyl driven. With these types of effects, 
you can see the possibilities of what you can do with a single sample and just removed everything just down to the DNA of just the vocal and the music. So now let's record this. Now let's go to a drum track. Okay. Okay, now check this out. Now you can also edit all four layers of your stems by pressing the Edit All Layers tab. And now if you touch the UI and use the data wheel, change the pitch. We can change all, all of the pitch layers. across all four layers. And the cue links will still control the individual stems. You can also delete any of your stem layers within your program edit just by pressing the delete tab. And then you can also use undo. One of the fastest ways to chop samples is using the chop mode on MPC. Now what we've added with stems is the ability that you can chop the original sample and then when you stem it out, all of your chop region slices will remain across each individual stem. Now this is cool. The typical MPC ideas are all here and they're all applied to the stems. Now this is gonna be pretty hot. Uh, it's just like Soretto pretty much or anything else I've already seen done. So it's probably gonna cost money. So let's use this sample. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into our chop mode and we're gonna manually create our chops. Now, so many of you are going to be used to this method of chopping up your samples. That's for sure. Now, once you've done your chops, we normally go back in, Change the beginning. we fine tune our chops. Excellent. So we can That's still do this process. Now, once you're happy with your chops, we simply go to process and we navigate to create stems, and this time we uncheck the use trimmed sample box. Mm. Now, when we press do it, NBC is gonna create four individual stems, but it's gonna maintain all of the slice points from our original sample. Nice, now that's hot. You can actually chop parts back and forth. This is gonna be pretty good, this is gonna be big. This is cool for NBC. I was talking about it months ago, but this is it. Uh, I can't see anything wrong with that. There's a link probably in the bottom of my video here that you can link right to this video from um, Andy Mack. I love what they're doing. I like how he's demonstrating this thing here. This is going to be pretty hot. But I think it's going to be out in March, as it says on the website. And we're going to see what happens. But down below, tell me what you think about the new STEM idea. And do you think this is 3.0? Because it looks like it's way better, smoother, and they have changed a lot within the software. And hopefully it is. Remember, this is the 40th anniversary this year, 2024, of Akai. I'll check you in the next video and tell me what you think.